Okay, Christmas is over. I know, but I'm gonna show you something cool that you can do with Jingle Bells. I'm gonna show you how to make a Jingle Bell bedroom. And it's really easy to do. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Don't ask me to sell them to you. I don't make them and sell them. I'm going to show you how you can make your own. And if you can make your own, then you can annoy everybody all by yourself without any help from me. Well, no, not really. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you because I'm going to show you how. Okay, so, materials. I'll show you what materials you need. First of all, you need bells. And these, you can get them, you know, at any, like, dollar store or whatever. That's basically, that's the main thing you need. So you're going to need those. Now, they're kind of light, so they're not going to have any weight. So you're going to need... I'm using I'm using skateboard hex nets. These these go on my trucks of my skateboard. So I have four of them. Four of them, and you're gonna need those. And you're gonna need scissors and cord. And for the cord, what I'm gonna use is Astrojax aqua cord or a string. But you can. I'm not sure what thickness this is. Just any any thickness of a paracord that's super thin. Uh, you probably find them at fabric store or places like that. But it's just, just you know thicker than a yo-yo string, but thinner than a paracord. So experiment with that. You'll find something that will fit. Okay, so. Here's what we do. We're going to get two bells. Because we need two bells. And we're going to get our cord. And I want to measure it. I go off of one I already have. Now, the length that you're going to use, or the length you're going to want to use, varies from player to player. If you play Begler, then you know everybody has a preference on length and I'm no different. I like to have I like the long game. And what that means is I play a longer string than normal. And this is kind of the length of I wanna say near seven inches. Right now it probably is seven inches because I haven't made a knot. But it's pretty close to it ends up being six and three quarters. We're going to get one part of the string and run it through the top of the bell. So once you have it through, you're going to get your hex nut and thread that in there. It doesn't really matter what side you, you put it in. So now we need to do a knot. We need to make a knot. And the knot that I, that I make on here is just a simple uh, one loop and then a loop the other way. And that kind of locks the knot in there. If you're into knots and stuff, then you'll know which one is best. I just, I just make up any kind of knot I can do. But that's the one that I figured out that works the best. And, okay, so now I'm going to put now I'm going to put this hex nut and this hex nut. And I put them the opposite way. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? And now the bell goes last. And I'm going to have trouble with this one, I just know I will. And now it doesn't want to go in there. 
going to be difficult. It's really not that hard to do. I think I got a bad bell. Let's see what I mean. But the joy of getting many bells is you can always use another if one is just too hard to work with. Come on. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Wait. <laughs> there, see? Ha! Ah, bad bell. Okay. So now, I have the other side. I'm going to do the knot. And I'm going to try to see if I can do it this way so you can see it better. But it's going to be across like this, a loop inside, and then I loop it one more time this way. And then I drag it down. And that kind of locks, that locks the loop. There you go. That locks the loop and now it's locked and it shouldn't, it should not fly. And if it does, well, do it again. Wait, I'm going to do this one again and I don't trust this one. I don't even think I did this one right. That's a problem when you do it, if you can do it yourself, but when you have to explain it and do it, that's when things go wrong. Okay, so, so you're going to loop it one way and then loop it the other way. And that is what locks your loop, right? And make it nice and tight. It's not going to go anywhere. You don't want this bell to fly. So yeah, now I have my Jingle Bell Beglery. Go out and make your own. It's very easy. I already showed you how to do it. Once you have your Jingle Bell Beglery, you can just, you will be the envy of all your friends. You can, you can play with this all year round. You don't even have to wait for Christmas. You don't have to wait for a whole year. You can just rock it all year round. Just the noise it makes, those jingles. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like the jingle. And each Jingle Bell Beglery has its very own town. So experiment with that. Make your own little choir of Jingle Bell beggary. Just collect them all like I've been doing and just make so many. And then next year you'll, you'll be ready to go and annoy Santa. Just go up to Santa like this in the mall when he's, when he's like, you know, asking people, asking kids if they've been naughty, if they've been nice. You can just go up to him and just and jingle your beggary, man. Just jingle, jingle, jingle. Yeah, that was easy. So go out and do that. Make your own jingle bell beggary. Thank you. Thank you. No, no. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>